Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final part, part nine of the kitchen and cabinet design project. Um, as you can see on my screen here, I'm pretty much done with what I'm doing here, and this is where we're going to get you guys to as well. Um, if I was to really finish this, I'd probably do some crown molding up at the top, which you guys, you know, you know how to do. You just got to create a profile on both sides and extrude it, and then I would probably do some trim around that left doorway, around the ground, um, and that would pretty much be it. It looks pretty good. So. What we have to do in this video is we have to create the refrigerator and we have to make the lights and the ceiling up at the top. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this is what we're making for the fridge. What you're going to do is you're going to start with a box, click anywhere, you're going to do length, and this direction you're going to go 36 we're going to do a 36 inch 36 inch refrigerator um you're going to go 30 forward and you're going to go 70 up okay 70 is just a number that i saw on home depot i was looking at fridges to see what their heights are and it looks like 70. i can't pretend like i knew what that was <laughs> um another box okay so start at the bottom here do length you're going to go to this point you're going to go up oh, i'm sorry you're going to go out about four inches and you're going to go up about, I think I did, I think I did 24, but then you're going to take this box and you're going to move it up by two inches. Okay. Then we're going to do another box. Um, another box that starts here, you're going to do length again. You're going to go to this point. You're going to come, oops, I don't think that one clicked. You're going to go to that point. Now well, let's try that again. I'm going to try to reset my view. Sometimes this has been messing up on me. Um, I wanted to show you guys a render of the whole thing, but this computer is just having trouble rendering. I don't know why. And it's strange because it's an Alienware computer and it shouldn't have an issue. Maybe I'll draw a rectangle here first, and then I'll take that and I'll extrude it up to the top. And then I want to leave space between the two doors here. This is going to be a French set of doors. So I'm going to click this one again. I'm going to bring this down by one inch. But then I'm going to move it up by one inch, and that's going to leave my gap between. Okay, so now back to the front view, we're going to slice this top door in half. So if you need to, you can take that one and move it over by, let's say, five feet. Just make sure that that is the door. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Slice, pick the door, hit enter from midpoint to midpoint, and then keep both sides. Okay, so we get something like that. What we're going to do next is we're going to do fillet edge, radius 2. And we're going to do a radius 2 on, let's see if I can get it, on four edges. All right, so we got that. We're also going to do it on here and here. And then we're going to move those two doors back five feet. Okay, so you can already see where we're at here on conceptual. We have the main part of the fridge done, okay? Um, the next thing I do is I probably take this and I would just move them off of the fridge by about, probably by about 0.5, okay? Because those doors don't, you know, they have a seal on the inside, so you can kind of see the line um, around the doors of the fridge, okay? Because they have seals that, that are just closing where the doors are. The doors aren't perfectly onto the top of, or the front of the fridge, okay? Um, all right, the next thing I did was, I'm going to move this. Let's go 50 feet out. You can see my lights are still in there. Um, the next thing I, I want to do is I want to steal the handle from the dishwasher. So I'm going to copy that, just so we don't have to make it again, because you guys know how to make that. Grab it from the midpoint at the top, and then put that at the midpoint on this front part. And then I noticed that it didn't really look like the right size. So what I did was I selected it, I did scale, I grabbed that same midpoint and I did 1.5. I made it 1.5 times bigger. And then I noticed that it was a little bit low. So then I brought it back up about two inches and I was pretty happy with that. Okay. Um, the next thing, if you want, you can take this door out. Let's move that over to the left about, I don't know, nine feet. We're going to go to the front side and we're going to go back to 2D wireframe. 
and then a little bit of an orbit. And what I did was I put a line down the midpoint to midpoint because I want to cut out this part here, this little hole um, is going to be like where you would get ice and water, okay? And we're not going to do anything other than just cut a hole out, all right? So the next thing was a midpoint from this front edge to that front edge. Um, I offset it by, I want to say it was 12. Again, this is just, you know, totally guessing and, and just, you know, looking at the picture on homedepot.com and figuring out exactly what size I thought it was. But nothing is set in stone. Offset, you know, if you have a fridge at home, maybe you want to just measure your own. Um, offset, I think I did four left and right. Okay. And I'm noticing already that this probably wasn't 12. It was probably 10. So we're going to go up two. Okay. So now I don't need the middle line anymore. Now, you know what? I think it was 12. Now that I'm looking at the side again, um, we don't need the middle line. We're going to trim these. We're going to take these four lines, join them together. We're going to extrude them. Whoops. Extrude them through the back. I could just do, uh, you know, four inches for the door, but I'll just go all the way through and just make sure that it fully intersects the door and then subtract, click the door, enter, click the piece you want to subtract, enter. So we get something like that. Now we're going to move this back over. That's going to go, I think it was nine feet that I did. Yep. So now we're at this point. Okay. So we got two handles to go and then the fridge is done. So now I wanted to do, you know, it doesn't fully make sense that these handles are different than this handle, but I wanted to do different handles to show you guys how I would do that. So in the top view by the fridge here, you can see I drew a profile like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that out here and I'm just going to use lines. I think I did 0.5. I went three. I went um, 1.5. I went 0.25, 0 0.25. I'm actually making it a little bit smaller. This whoop, not 0.25. Um, let's see, that was 1.5. So 1.25 and then close. I'm making it a little bit smaller than what I made it before because I didn't like how big it looked in the render. Okay. Then I did a fillet radius of if it's 0.25, then you got to go 0.125. That's one eighth of an inch. And I just did that, 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 and that one. All right. So now take these, join them together. You get a 10 to one polyline. Take this and mirror it erase the source no okay so now we're going to take these two we're going to move them off of this corner and we're going to put that on the corner of the fillet okay now this looks like it's sticking out pretty far so i don't know if i like that either so let's back up for a second oops if you start up here and drag down and click down here somewhere you can do s for stretch and we're going to bring that back down about a full inch i think i like that a little bit better now let's move it in. It shouldn't really stick out further than the other handle. That's why it looked kind of funny. Um, but we're just moving these back in off the corner of the fillet. We can go into our 3D view. You can see where those are. I'm going to move those up four because the handles don't really go the full length of the door. I'm going to extrude those up to the top. Now I, I don't really know the height of the door here, so I will just go to the top like this. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to just grab the triangle and bring them back down four. So it's not a move. It's just a stretch down of those four. Okay. So now on conceptual, you can see that the fridge is done. All right. At this point, I would go into materials. I would uh, start dropping my stainless steel. My, I think I was using like a black, uh, some kind of like polished, you know, black metal or whatever it was. Um, and that's pretty much it. The fridge would be done. So then what you would do is you would take the 2D wireframe. You would select the fridge, make sure you get each part of it, and you would move it from here to the corner of the cabinet, which would be right back there. Okay, so I already did that. Mine's already in there. All right, so now the ceiling is the last part of this, unless you want to go in and do your trim. Uh, what I did for the ceiling was on conceptual, I took a box, I started on this corner, I went to this corner, and then I went up 12. So it's a foot thick. Okay. Not like a ceiling is really a foot thick. I mean, unless you're counting like floor joists and stuff. Um, I went 50, but you know what? I'm going to go 50 the other way. And you know what? Let's go 50 this way. All right, so we got 50 feet. 
So now we're out here. Okay, now we're back on 2D wireframe. What I did was I took a line from corner to corner. I put a circle at the midpoint. If you're not getting midpoint, make sure that OS is checked for midpoint. And also, if, if it's still not giving it to you, then when you're in circle, type MID enter. That gives you the midpoint. It forces it. And I think I did five, um, which is going to give you, that's a five radius. It's going to give you a 10 diameter uh, recessed light. Okay, we're doing recessed lighting. So then I took this. I made another circle. That was, see, we're not getting the midpoint again. MID enter. That was um, roughly four diameter or four radius, sorry. And then I moved that up about 10 inches. So the ceiling, you don't want to go thicker than what the ceiling is. The ceiling was 12, so we were going 10. I did loft. Um, I lofted these two together. I hit enter twice. And now what I did was I took that light or that hole that's going to be and I copied them. I think I, ooh, I hit move. I copied them. And this, these lights can go almost anywhere you want. You can do as many as you want. But I did six feet that way. And I just want to make them evenly spaced, basically. Six feet this way. Five feet this way. Five feet that way. And then copy again. Six feet. Six feet. Copy this one. We probably could have done those at the same time. Six feet. Six feet. So I did nine lights all together. Okay. Then what you do is in visualize, you got to turn a couple things off. You got to make sure default lighting is off. Okay. Your exposure is actually going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be between six and seven rather than five and six. Otherwise it looks a little bit too whitewashed. Um, make sure we're still recording. Good. You're going to turn the sun off. Okay. It doesn't really make any sense to use the sun when it's an interior room. So that's why we're doing the lighting in the ceiling. Okay. Uh, you go into lights here. Sorry. You go into create light and do a point light. You're going to do it at the center see if we don't get that then we're going to do C E N enter that's for center and if you hover over the circle you get the little plus and you put that right there and you hit enter okay so that's going to put that light there now copy and also we forgot to subtract these pieces but we'll do that next copy this from the center of the light here and try to go to the center of all these other lights so we're going to have like I said nine lights we can get rid of that diagonal too at any point. Now these, these lights are already set at a specific in intensity. So if you wanted to change the intensity of these lights, what you would do is, well here, let's subtract first. From the main shape, you're gonna subtract all of these. Don't click the lights. enter and what that's going to do on conceptual is it's going to give us all the holes underneath with the lights right underneath them okay back to 2d wireframe um, if you wanted to like i said you could click on the lights you could right click properties and you could change the intensity of the bulbs so right now we have a lamp intensity of 1500 you know cat or whatever they call it um, i'm from the u.s so i don't really understand what that means i'm more of a watts guy but i do play with those numbers and go lighter and darker you know higher number lower number and you could also change the lamp color as well to see what kind of, if you want a little, little warmer in the room or a little cooler. Um, but you guys can mess with those numbers. It seemed like leaving it on the default lights uh, is just fine. So then you would take this and you would move it back in by 50 feet. Now I already have mine set up, so I'm going to move mine back in by 50 feet. And then I'm going to go to the view of my camera. I'm going to double click my camera, hit apply, hit OK. And I basically, I, you know, I adjusted my camera a little bit because I wanted to see a little bit more of the fridge and a little bit less of the doorway. But that's pretty much it. You can see some of the lights on the ceiling here. Um, I'll, uh, I'm not going to hit render because I'm going to drop frames if I do that. But you guys can render it up and see what it looks like. And outside of like crown molding and ground molding, you know, that's, that's it. I, I wouldn't do anything else. I think it looks great. Okay, I changed the color of my wall. It makes it pop a little bit more. Um, you know, I don't know that that's pretty much it part nine. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And if you, you know, want to comment and see something else made, you know, completely away from this project, or if you wanted to see me put something else in this project, 
I can do that for you, okay? Um, also, I took my stove and I moved that up even with the top of the counter. Um, I had it lower than that, which looked kind of funny, so I made it even with the top, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and hopefully that, you know, some people out there like this video series. This is nine videos total, and, you know, it was a lot of work. This is many, many hours, so hopefully you guys can get through it. If you have any trouble, let me know. I would love to help, all right? I'll see you guys, I guess, in the next series. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. All right, bye. Catch them all.